Okay, so this is the experiment portion. So you should have, if you haven't done this already, if you're on run experiment. Okay, so we're going to use 10 grams of potassium hydroxide. And we're going to choose water. And we're going to use 200 grams of water. So you can see you just slide that bar. Next, I'm going to show the graph. I want you to see how this is graphed. This is going to help you determine whether this is an exo or endothermic. You're going to put, a water, put it in there. It's going to mix it up. It's going to run. So as you can see here, our temperature is going up. So since temperature is going up, I'll let it finish. That we can see the temperature of the water was 20 degrees Celsius when we started. Now it's 31.69. So right here, you would write temperature increase. And then you need to decide whether that's exo or endothermic. Okay, that's the first one. Now here you're going to do 10 grams of ammonium nitrate and 200 grams of water. So go back. See if we're set. We're going to use ammonium nitrate. 10 grams again. So we want to keep it the same. And water. 200 grams of water, just like we did on the last one. I'm going to show the graph because I need to see that. Hit start. So now we can see here that our temperature is decreasing. But we're going to go ahead and let this finish running. You can also see we started at 20 degrees Celsius in this water, and now we're at 16.4. 16.3, so 16.35, so you would write up here that we decrease, and then write down whether that's exo or endothermic. Okay, then we're going to hit click reset. Now we're going to run the second part. Okay, energy transfer hot metal to calorimeter. We're going to choose 20 grams of the solid at 200 degrees Celsius and 200 grams of water for every trial. Okay, a lot of this has already been filled out for you. All you need to do is get final temperature of the water, find the delta T, and then calculate how much energy was transferred. Okay. Using this formula right here. Mass of the water times specific heat of the water and change in temperature of water in the calorimeter. Okay. So 10 has been done for you. I'm not going to do 10. I'm going to go ahead, go down, and do, and do silver. Choose a solid, silver, 20 grams, because I want to keep that the same. Heat up to 200, and water, I need 200 milliliters of that. Okay. Start. Make um, sure you record the final temperature and the initial. So 21.01 would be your final temperature. 20 degrees was your initial temperature. Okay. So put that 21.1 there. Figure this out. Figure this out. Okay. Uh, let's look at copper. So I'm going to hit reset. Now I'm going to choose copper.
So record this value here in your data table. Find the difference. Let me hit reset. We're going to go to our next solid, and the next solid is iron. Water. For this value here, 21.91 degrees Celsius in your data table. The difference reset. Now we're going to go to our next is aluminum. Just going down the list. She record that value. Reset. Next one is unknown metal one. She write down the specific heat because you're gonna have to identify what this is by looking it up in the chart that's provided. There's a hyperlink in the document. Okay, and then make sure you record that. Make sure you write down this value. You're going to need that. Set. And then we're going to choose the last one, and then middle two. So you're going to be using that specific key for these two unknowns to decide, determine their identity. And there's a chart, there's a hyperlink to a chart provided in the um, assignment. And this is the last one. So record this value, make sure you write this down, specifically of unknown metal 2, that's going to help you identify what unknown metal it is. Okay, so that's the whole experiment, all you got left, so figure out these differences, use the formula up here, calculate how many joules of energy, list them from most energy transferred to least, and list the metals from lowest specific to highest, so you can always go back and look. Um, Here's that chart right here. So to figure out those, the identity of those two unknown metals, make sure you write down their specific heat and then click on that chart. It'll send you to the link. And then down here, you've got two more you just have to solve. Make sure you fill it all out, take a picture of it, and send it to me when you're done.